I got the monkey. What's going on everyone? Dave K here for the final day here in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's been a great adventure, but gotta get on the road soon. We've already spent a good chunk of time this morning just kicking back and relaxing in the room. You know it's a great time to be able to just kind of enjoy the views and see the sights. I've also looked at a couple of other things here. You've got the in-room dining options here, a variety of menu items, depending upon if you're looking for some room service there. We've got our wildlife spotting guide which is super cool to see some of those different animals that you can find out in the savanna there. And we've got an Animal Kingdom Lodge scavenger hunt here. Scavenger hunt so that we can find all the things throughout the resort and win those prizes and that kind of thing. Super fun time, but again, just taking the time this morning, relaxing, kicking back, enjoying the views, feeling relaxed and getting ready to leave, but definitely looking forward to spending more time here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge again in the future as well. And something I just noticed recently, I saw that there was a Simba on the top of this dresser, but I don't know if you saw these little animals imprinted into the dresser. Look at that. You've got your bird, elephant, sounds there's a zebra and some other animal in that corner. Can't quite tell. You got, uh, I don't know, an uh, elk or something. You got a zebra over there. Again, there's your elephant and your bird. So it's probably those four that get used. Yes, the same four. It's very nice to see those details that will be included in the resort. The theming is very well done. And here's a closer look at that in-room dining guide. You can see call now or call ahead for breakfast, that sort of thing, pizza delivery. And you'll see, oh, look at these breakfast options, continental breakfast. So a lot of these, unlike Sana, are more typical food items that you'd see. Sana has a lot of those unique and themed appropriately to the African savanna terms of food items, but these items are more sort of general things you'd find, I feel like, if you order any sort of thing for breakfast. Again, with the continental breakfast or Simba waffles, they are, they are Disney themed, but not especially African authentic flavors. At least that's the way I'm seeing it. Just taking a quick look here at these menus. And you've got kids meal options as well. Cheeseburger, mac and cheese, a non cheese pizza there. That's cool. So a little bit of that African theming in here, but a lot of typical what you'd expect from a regular breakfast as well. New York Strip here, if you wanted to order, or seasonal fish or something like that. No, oh, a lot of sandwiches. Maybe in the future I might look at some of those. Bacon and cheddar burger or the meatball sub. Definitely sounds like winners to me, but it's cool to be able to take the time and again, look through these dining menus and the different options you can enjoy and you can appreciate if you are staying in one of the resort, the amenity, one of many amenities that is offered. And here is the animal spotting guide. If you wanted to get a better feel for what types of animals you can find in the savannah here. Anything from okapi, you can see that animal I saw the other day was indeed okapi, kind of looks like a deer. You've got a variety of others here as well. Ostrich, that vulture, was really interesting to see a vulture the other day. It was kind of crazy, wasn't expecting that out there. Everything from kudu all the way down here. So definitely nice that they have this setup where you can get a better feel for what animals that you're spotting in the savannah. Our last half an hour or so in the resort here, you do have to check out by 11 of these DVC resorts, just like most of those other resorts. So just enjoying the last time. One of my favorite things to do here in the resorts is the showers. I really like the smell of some of that shampoo and that sort of thing. So take a final shower here and enjoy that. It's also a really nice setup, a really nice design and aesthetic of those showers. So enjoying just some of the last moments in the resort, looking at some of those animals and just appreciating the ambiance. Maybe a little bit afterwards, after we check out, walk around a little bit more, enjoy some of the animals in the resorts. We also got to figure out what food plans will look like, but nice to be able to spend the time here. Really glad we had the chance to get a whole new view on the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Again, I haven't, I don't feel like I've been this close to the animals before in a room, so it was really, really nice to see. Another detail I'm noticing just as we make our way out here, look at this Simba, or is that Mufasa, on the back of these chairs. Again, earlier I talked about how you could see Simba over there and all those animals in that cabinet. Super cool to see Mufasa in here as well. And one last look, of course, at that beautiful view through our window. Oh, the, most of the animals have walked away. They know we're leaving. They're sad. But it's really been nice to be able to enjoy this very relaxing and peaceful view. And now to do the scavenger hunt, the Animal Kingdom scavenger hunt. Looks like a lot of these activities we have kind of already done or don't actually involve necessarily walking around 
and seeing stuff. Some do, but some not quite so much. But it'd be nice to check this one out while we are wrapping up our Animal Kingdom Lodge adventure here. Something nice we can do after we've already checked out of the room. While we're here at the resort, enjoying a couple more views of the savanna that we haven't seen before. A radiated tortoise right there. I don't think I've ever seen that animal. Here's a sign for it as well. Kind of outside to the right, inside to the right, of where you'd normally stand out and look at the animals. You can see the radiated tortoise right there, one of the most endangered animals at the Gadani village. Kind of walking around, eating some grass as well. Nice to see some of these sights while we are still enjoying the resort, but definitely nice to be immersed in that nature. And definitely, I don't think I've seen that animal before either here, the radiated tortoise. Very nice to see. A close-up view here of a variety of different animals. Just enjoying all of the animals on the savanna here in the afternoon. You've got a couple close to us. It's a little bit tricky to see on this camera, but you got this guy right here, the guy with horns. Same dudes over there, a giraffe, more giraffes, more dudes in the back. And the cows are on the move back there with the giraffe as well. Super nice to see this here. Out back, giraffe walking our way. And you've got some cows and some other animals walking around as well, very nice. And we've got our scavenger hunt mostly completed here. You can see, figured out a lot of those different items. The pool here at the Kidani Village, what does Kidani mean? Some different animals here at Kidani and meeting different people. It's a fun little scavenger hunt and we'll have to see what that prize looks like as well, but definitely fun to learn more about the Animal Kingdom Lodge as we're spending our time here. It's a nice place to check out. Always love these animal views and to learn more from the logistical perspective about the facts and that sort of thing is very cool as well. All right. Ooh. You guys ready? Oh yeah. yeah. See what you got. There we go. Go ahead. Ooh, nice. Okay. Picking a prize. They've got bookmarks and pens and glasses and little rubber duckies shaped as animals. Ooh. What do you got? Is that a lion? That's are you a holding lion. a monkey? Oh, this is another monkey. I still got the monkey in hand. I think the cutest ones are yeah. the elephant or the monkey. The zebras in here. Okay. Tiger. Lion. So, for prize options here today, Mike's got the safari guide. Check that guy out. And I got the monkey. Nice. Nice little duckies right there. Cute set here. Nice prizes for that scavenger hunt. Definitely worthwhile. And a quick look at the shop here. You can see all kinds of cool mugs and snacks as well as we're doing some pin trading too. You can never get enough good stuff in here. So, whether you need mugs or you need some food or drinks, you can get those here as well. Let's say you're on a dvc staycation need something for that oven or something like that you can get stuff here you can bring it with you as well but definitely nice that they have pretty much everything you need right here and that concludes our adventure here at the animal kingdom lodge but you know there's so much more to look forward to thanks for being a part of the fun with me today as well definitely looking forward to more disney adventures with you real soon and if you haven't already for more upfront adventures make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed if you liked it hit that thumbs up button and let me know you liked it until next time play on